call me Helena. Mike Harris, call me Helena. Recently, we had a mini reunion luncheon of our fifth grade class. That's 50 plus years ago, folks. My lifelong friend Judy Colt set it up and she had a special guest. She had found our fifth grade teacher, Miss Zublin. So how exciting was that to walk into the restaurant and to see her after all those years? She looked up and looking at me for the first time in 50 years, she said, Michael, oh, amazing, just amazing. How are you, Miss Zubrin? You look great. She said, please call me Helen. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, it was great to have the old gang back together again. Rosemary Spano was there. Rosemary was a little bossy pants in the fifth grade. And I do believe that they made up the word cooties just to de describe Rosemary Spock. But by the time we all graduated, fortunately her cooties were in remission, <laughs> and we had voted her most likely to succeed. Kathy Buchanan was there. Kathy, my first crush, and I believe that I was her fr first crush as well. And by the time senior prom came along, we both knew she was way out of my league. <laughs> Frank Niles. Everybody knew Frank Niles was the best athlete in Johnson Elementary School. By the time he was 20, everybody knew he was one of the best athletes in New England when he signed a baseball contract with the Kansas City Royals organization. Judy Cole. I've known her since she was two. And I was one. <laughs> she, in grade school, was tall and lanky, and I guess the word you'd use to describe her is gawky. By the time she reached her late teens, the word we used to describe her was statuesque. And she started entering beauty contests and winning them at the local level, and actually at one point was crowned Mrs. Massachusetts. So we all started talking about that very emotional fifth grade school year. That horrible Friday in November when we learned President Kennedy had been assassinated, we were all together. We were also all together those lunatic Mondays in February when everybody came in and said, did you see Ed Sullivan last night, the Beatles? Ah! <laughs> Miss Ubrin wasn't interested in talking about the old days. She wanted to know what was going on now. She started that conversation by telling us she was still teaching art classes, and she was producing a line of greeting cards featuring her own art. Rosemary Spano had started her own company. Of course she had. <laughs> she was running seminars where business people come in. They are taught to find their inner strengths and use them to reach their potential. Kathy Buchanan, she works for her local uh, county government running the new employee orientation program, the training classes, and the mentor program. Frank Niles, after a stint in the minor leagues, he began coaching, first at the high school level, then the college level, then he opened his own baseball academy to teach kids from eight years old through high school the fine art of baseball. Judy Cole had stayed in the pageant industry as a judge. She judged at very high levels. And then she started coaching and mentoring girls as they entered the pageant business. You look up pageantuniversity.com, you'll meet my friend Judy Cole. I had become a trainer in a Fortune 500 company. And now that I've retired, I teach adult ed at my local community high school. It's no coincidence that all five of us who had pointed to Miss Zubrin as being our favorite teacher had all become educators. Not only back then did we like her, we wanted to be her. And we all became her in our own way. How gratifying it must have been for her to learn that. 
I mean, who she was back then, a 20-year-old kid coming into work every day, facing a room full of nine and 10-year-old snot-faced kids, <laughs> trying to make a difference, hoping that at some point, maybe someone would learn something. And here she was learning today that those seeds she planted all those years ago had flourished in each and every one of us, and were still flourishing. We said our goodbyes that day. I put my arms around her. I said, thank you, Ms. Huber, for everything. You are amazing. She said, please, call me Helena. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> but for now, I will call her a hero. God bless the teachers, huh? God bless the soccer coaches, the little league coaches, the Sunday school volunteers, the scout leaders, God bless everyone who is called to those professions and those volunteer jobs where they provide a positive influence for our children and our grandchildren. If you're one of those people, God bless you and thank you. But most importantly, don't ever for one minute doubt the importance of the work you do. Because my friends and I are living proof that the impact you will have on those young lives will be far greater and will last so much longer than you could ever imagine. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my hero, my friend, Helena, who is still inspiring me today.